Okay, once we've finished adding the details for the transaction here, we can go back to the Documents tab here, which will show the documents that we've previously uploaded. Now, I could look at all these documents at one time. In this case, I'm just going to pick one document here, and then you're, what you're going to see is we have all these different items pop up here. We have, and I'm just going to actually click on this here, which will actually open up the document. And now I can edit it. So I can add all the fields that may not have auto-populated here. So one of the fields that I noticed right away is it's not the seller's name here, right? So I would have to add Sam Seller and some of the other fields like the managing broker's name, which this is area specific. And you can go through the whole contract and add in the appropriate information for the you know, the particular document that you're filling out. Then click Save and Close, and this will save all the changes for you. So this is how you would go through and add and edit all the documents that you have and all the information that needs to be appropriate on those.